It was a crisp, sunny October afternoon, and Benjamin, Thomas, and Melinda Potter were visiting the Bramblewood Zoo. They hadn't particularly wanted to visit the zoo, but Mrs. Potter had been very firm about it. Daddy has been working extremely hard, she had said, and I think he needs an afternoon of peace and quiet. Here's some money. I suggest you go to the zoo. There was no arguing with Mrs. Potter in this mood, so the three children had dutifully taken the bus from the stop at the corner of their street and had ridden through the pretty university town of Bramblewood as far as the zoo. Although it was the end of October and very cold, the sun was shining brightly from an unusually clear sky. Only a few clouds on the horizon gave a hint of possible rain. Late autumn leaves blew along the pavement and rolled in through the main gates of the zoo, as if inviting the children to follow. On this lovely Sunday, the place was crowded with visitors, and there were popcorn sellers, balloon vendors, and a man pushing a yellow cart, piled high with toys. Children yelled happily as they scampered to the rides and to the animal cages. In spite of their early reluctance to venture out, Benjamin, Thomas, and Lindy had to admit, now that they were there, that the zoo didn't seem a bad place to visit after all.